to the 2021 Student Leadership Awards. I am Janae L. Reiter, the Assistant Dean of Students and Director of the Office of Student Engagement and Leadership. As Chair of the Student Leadership Formation Committee, I greet you on behalf of the committee and thank you for joining us for a ceremony in recognition of Newman University's student leaders. The obstacles brought on by COVID-19 and the racial and societal unrest in America extenuated the complexity of the college experience and personal life for students across our nation and world. Today, we celebrate all Newman University students for your persistence to live, learn, love, and maintain faith. Newman Knights positioned on campus and within their homes and communities, demonstrated vigilance and commitment to self-development, service, and the RISES core values of Newman University. We honor you Knights for contributing to the success and legacy of the Sisters of St. Francis in the Newman University community. The Student Leadership Formation Committee is elated to provide an opportunity for our student leaders, guests, and families to celebrate your amazing leadership accomplishments. In addition, we are appreciative of the support of our campus partners. The Student Leadership Formation Committee would like to express gratitude for the leadership of our president, Dr. Domes. So, in reverence of God, our Franciscan tradition and mission, I will now ask Father Suresh, the university chaplain, to come forward and offer an opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for all the benevolent graces you have been showering upon us, even through this extraordinary time of the world. We come to you with humble hearts and with grateful minds for all the wondrous blessings you have poured upon our Newman University family. We thank you for each one of us who collaborate at Newman with the values of reverence, integrity, service, excellence, and stewardship. You brought all of us under this umbrella with lots of purpose. We offer you tons of thanks for every student at our university. You have endowed them with lots of talents and good qualities. We strongly believe that in and through new men, you keep qualifying them to be good, better, and the best in all the aspects of their lives. You permeate every cell of their life energy and charge every marrow of their being. All of our students are qualified, yet we want to show you our gratitude by bringing a few of them in front and duly appreciate you by awarding them. We award a few, you award all. Bless all the people who make this event possible. May the intercession of our Mother Mary, Saint Francis, and new man stay with us all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father Suresh, for such a beautiful prayer. The vibrancy and growth of a university is reflected in the success of its students. This success is evident in multiple ways on campus and beyond the perimeter of our acreage. At Newman, we rejoice in our greatest strength, the remarkable students that choose to learn, live, and serve on this holy hill. 
our students assumed distinguished roles within student government association, honor societies, clubs and organizations, residence life, orientation, campus ministry, athletics, the wellness center, the office of the president, Newman Media, and enrollment management. Our Newman Knights commit to the development processes that fine tune their God-given abilities and enables them to be champions over the greatest disparities in our life, our nation, and world. It is for this reason that we gather today and recognize their ability to utilize their stories, their strengths, and challenges to leave an indelible mark and legacy that will impact Newman for generations. Let's begin. The first student recognition presentation will begin with the TRIO Program Award. Please welcome Kristen Golden, the TRIO and Student Support Services Program Director. The purpose of the TRIO Program is to assist student participants academically and financially in achieving success in higher education. The annual Newman University TRIO Leadership Award goes to two graduating seniors who have furthered Newman's mission and core values actively participated in the program during their college career, excelled academically, learned financial responsibility, and contributed to our campus and community's vitality through work, volunteerism, or example. This award recognizes their hard work and valuable contributions. The first TRIO Award recipient is Taylor Colgan. Taylor is a dedicated, hardworking, and driven young woman who has displayed qualities of leadership throughout her time at Newman University. She has served as Presidential Ambassador and Director of Series and Commuter Events for Knight's Programming Board. She interned with the Office of the Dean in the School of Business, worked as an Acting Counselor for Newman Center Stage, and played for Newman University's women's soccer team. In the community, Taylor has served as soccer coach for the Aston Youth Soccer Special Needs Program and has volunteered at numerous cultural events. While working nearly full-time hours outside of school, She's been on the Dean's List and has maintained consistent academic progress towards a degree in Business Administration, minoring in both International Business and Marketing. Taylor has demonstrated continued growth in her leadership skills and has utilized these skills in her academic, personal, and career development. She has acted in service throughout her college career and plans to continue to serve after graduation with aspirations of furthering her education and working in pharmaceutical sales. The TRIO program has selected Alexis Lomax as the second 2020-21 student awardee. Alexis is a graduating communication and digital media major with a focus in journalism. During her participation in the TRIO program, Alexis has demonstrated not only her commitment to academic excellence and personal growth, but also her holistic leadership skills through a wide range of positions and responsibilities around campus. Alexis is a member of Newman's Delta Pi Honor Society and has worked as news director and anchor for the Newman Update. She has also served as presidential ambassador, Newman navigator, and a member of Dean Mueller's student advisory committee. Alexis has shown an eagerness to learn and an ability to challenge herself, which will help her throughout her life. We're proud to have been given the opportunity to work with Alexis during her time at Newman and are confident that her willingness to embrace new opportunities will lead her to a bright and fulfilling future. Greetings, Newman University community. My name is Alexandria Thomas, Director of Housing and Residence Life and a member of the Student Leadership Formation Committee. The committee presents awards annually to Newman University students that have shown an extraordinary contribution and commitment towards the quality of the campus experience through their leadership. Faculty, staff, and students submitted nominations for the awards. All nominations were reviewed by the Student Leadership Formation Committee, utilizing a rubric-based selection process. This year, we received an unprecedented 131 nominations for the committee's nine awards. Awardees participated in a process that included the submission of references, a resume, and personal reflections. Nominees of our highest award honors were required to submit a senior transformation paper. Our committee was impressed with the many contributions of our nominees. Megan Camp, Director for Service Learning and Community Engagement, will now announce our Emerging Leadership Award recipients. 
The Emerging Leadership Award is given to a first year or sophomore student who exemplifies leadership through campus and community involvement. The student must be a full-time student in good academic and student conduct standing while being engaged and contributing to the university community through his or her citizenship. This year, we're pleased to award the Emerging Leadership Award to four awardees who have exhibited our RISE's core values in the context of leading his or her peers on campus. The first Emerging Leadership Award is presented to Elizabeth Perez. Allie is a sophomore political science and business administration double major. Outside of her academic pursuits, Allie manages external employment as well as multiple leadership roles. Her influence goes beyond positional leadership. In her personal statement, Allie explains, life is about constantly learning and growing, which is why excellence is the most applicable value to my everyday life. When you put your best foot forward, people are eventually going to realize that you are confident in who you are and that you have a sense of determination that is unmatched. Being able to show how excellent I can be on this campus has inspired me within the community, but utilizing these skills in my future career as a criminal prosecutor is what I look forward to the most. Excellence develops over time, and I am eager to continue learning and growing each and every day. You are deserving of this award, Allie. Congratulations are in order for the second Emerging Leader recipient, Sophia Parrish. Sophia is described as an initiator, an investigator of resources in resolving environmental inequity and other social justice concerns. Her leadership was highlighted in her role as student representative for the Care for Creation Committee. Sophia assumes various leadership positions on campus, but it is her humility and heart for learning that emerges in her service. In her remarks about her leadership goals, Sophia states, in being a Franciscan leader, I want to lead others solely through a platform of inclusivity, human connection, and happiness. In every event, meeting, service, and moment of being a Franciscan leader, one must be constantly and consistently aware of the way in which our own words, posture, gestures, and actions affect those around us. Being a Franciscan leader is to realize that no matter the age difference, gender difference, ethnic, racial difference, etc., of those which we lead, we are all human beings who share commonalities and our differences simply make us unique, not ranked or valued differently. James McDonald has been selected as our third awardee. James exemplifies servant leadership and as a first year student has made significant impact on campus life. James provided the following explanation of his leadership goals and expectations. I have a deep commitment to reverence. It is important to treat everyone with respect and compassion. I am true to my values and aim to lead by example. Leaders are responsible team players. As a lecturer of my church at St. Peter and Paul Parish, I serve God and my community by bringing the word of God to the liturgical assembly. I show excellence by doing the best I can with my God-given abilities in school and in extracurriculars. I practice stewardship by thanking God for the blessings I have received and use my talents to help in the service of others. A good Franciscan leader motivates and inspires other people to possess and follow their personal vision. As a leader, I want to always have empathy towards others' needs and possess an openness to consider new ideas and opinions. The final recipient of the Emerging Leadership Award is none other than Vincent Taddy. Members of the Student Leadership Formation Committee have crowned Vincent as a developing rock star of socio-political and social justice consciousness. 
Vincent joined Newman University in the fall as a political science and secondary education major. Vinnie demonstrates meekness and characteristics comparable to St. Francis. Vincent described his leadership focus as centered on providing help to the local community and increase Newman's positive influence in regional decision making concerning environmental justice, racial justice, and strategic business growth. Being a Franciscan leader means to have good values and to look at everyone as important. In addition, Franciscan leaders uplift the voices of everyone with respect. Following in the footsteps of St. Francis requires me to help the less fortunate by removing barriers and advocating for the marginalized. As any Franciscan, my goal is to make the world a better place, one small step at a time. We can all make a difference, even if it's just one family member or one person, I can help. Congratulations, Vincent. Now, welcome Sean McDonald as he introduces the recipients of the Distinguished Leadership Awards. The Distinguished Leadership Award is awarded to a junior or senior student who exemplifies leadership through campus and community involvement. The student must be a full-time student in good academic and student conduct standing while holding a formal leadership role within the university and has helped the community envision the future, identify paths to success, and carry out a vision. This year, we are pleased to award the Distinguished Student Leadership Award to two students who have exhibited our RISE's core values in the context of leading peers on campus. Caitlin Tracy has been named as a recipient of the Distinguished Student Leadership Award. Caitlin's involvement as a woman student leader has been remarkable. Her work as a Democracy Fellow led to an increase in the civic engagement of Newman students and assisted the university in attaining notoriety as a voter-friendly campus. In addition to this success, Caitlin has been instrumental in coordinating the newly established resource pantry. Caitlin graduates this year, but she leaves a legacy that will continue to assist students for generations to come. In her personal description, Caitlin shared, Newman allowed me to be my own person and really find myself. I am so grateful for all of the experiences and opportunities that helped to shape me. Thank you to the Newman University community because you all aided me in becoming the person I am today. I live the RISE's values each day in different ways. I try and take each value into account when making decisions. I want to make sure my daily life is being lived to the fullest and best possible way. My formation as a Franciscan-centered leader means being strong but kind. It means showing empathy, but also getting the job done. It especially means caring for those most vulnerable or in need. Caitlin, you deserve this award. The second Distinguished Leadership Awardee is none other than Ashley Olivia Beasley. Ashley possesses a special quality of connecting students for a collective goal and using her influence to empower others to become their best selves. Ashley holds leadership roles in student government, enrollment management, student engagement and leadership, campus ministry, and the office of the president. She has initiated the launch of student-centered programs on leadership and excellence. Her kind spirit and commitment to challenge and support her peers will resonate for years to come. Ashley described her Newman experience in the following excerpt. Newman has been a part of my growing process. Prior to college, the seeds for success had been planted. During college, the seeds have been watered and have begun to grow. After college, I will use my growth to blossom and overcome barriers and to continue to make a change and difference in my community. I believe I have changed Newman in the way I present transparency and in the way I show up for others. I think I have demonstrated what it means to live with grace, to serve others, and to show up for my responsibilities. In doing these things, I live out the RISE's values. Finally, being a Franciscan leader means that it is my right and duty to give back. It is my responsibility to respect creation and to do these things with a willingness and love within my heart, not operate as though these things are a burden. These things and beings are made in God's image and deserve to be honored and glorified as such. Ashley, congratulations and thank you for your leadership impact. I welcome Sister Patricia Hutchinson, OSF, to lead the RISE's award distribution.
The next series of awards are based on the RISE's core values of Newman University. The Reverence Award is given to the student who honors as sacred the worth and dignity of each person, celebrating their relationship as sisters and brothers with one another and all creation. Matthew Glass will receive the first Reverence Award. A reference for the student noted that during a time of great inconvenience and transition, Matt exuded great regard and care for students within the residence hall community. Matthew exhibits grace, respect, and selflessness for the needs of those around him. The committee was blessed to read Matt's personal statement in which he shared, My goal has been to be a beacon of reverence as I interact with everyone here on campus. Respect is something I take rather seriously, so I am sure to show only my full regard for others. I try to use this strategy to remind myself that I should be thankful for all of the amazing materials and services that Newman has given and offered to me, and that I should be thankful for the opportunity to attend Newman in person. Matthew, thank you for being a beacon of light on campus. Cassandra Nguyen is truly a living and breathing example of Newman's mission and the second Reverence Award recipient. Cassandra possesses a desire to engage in lifelong learning and exudes professionalism, kindness, and agility for change. Cassandra's compassion for others is an appreciated quality. Cassandra has immersed herself into multiple realms of the Newman University experience. In her statement, she shared that since starting my freshman year at Newman, I have admired the sentiments of the RISE's values and hope to live out those values throughout my journey in college and the rest of my life. For service, I have worked to give up my time for others rather than focusing too much on myself. Service plays an enormous role in my involvement in the clubs, organizations, and leadership roles. Not only have these RISE's values been incorporated into my everyday life, but I have also embraced these values in my leadership roles. As a peer leader, I have lived out many of the RISE's values. For instance, I dedicate a lot of my time and energy to help first-year students. I strive to be a role model for these students and help them as best as I can. Cassandra, thank you for continuing to honor the lives of those around you. The Integrity Award is given to students who speak the truth in love, act fairly, honestly, and ethically at all times, and accept responsibility for the consequences of their actions. The 2021 Integrity Award is presented to Alexis Lomax. Faculty and staff members provided the following testimonial for Alexis' alignment with the award criteria. She is a leader whose peers depend upon for input and thoughtful engagement. Alexis has proven to be consistently diligent in the pursuit of truth and love. Her achievement in curricular and co-curricular environments are the result of her internal ethical compass. In an excerpt from her personal statement, she shared the following information about her leadership formation. Newman has given me the ability to believe in myself. I see myself living out the RISE's values every day with intention. 
These values have always been a huge factor in who I am before I really understood what having values meant. I have always valued the dignity of each person and respected them with the same respect I have for myself. I think I incorporate integrity into my life by always thinking before I speak and act. I try my best to always reference others and things in a positive light and try twice as much to never put anyone down with my words and actions. I love everyone around me and those that God has blessed me with. I take my duties and responsibilities seriously and respect the privileges I have earned. Alexis, congratulations. This honor is well deserved. The next 2021 Integrity Award is presented to Cheryl Ponet. Cheryl demonstrates integrity through her commitment to maintain focus on the goals and human purpose to serve others. Cheryl's integrity is based on maintaining internal congruence in body, soul, and spirit. Cheryl provided a beautiful explanation of the importance of integrity in leadership. In her statement, she shared, from a personal perspective, integrity means many things, but at the core of its meaning is being a person who follows through, a person who does what they promise, no matter how hard the task. A person who chooses the right and not the easy thing. Integrity means to be honest, whole, to respect our moral compass, as Jesus tells us to do in all his teachings. I have tried to teach my children in the same way. To have integrity is quite possibly one of the most important virtues we can show to our brothers and sisters to ensure that they feel valued in this world. I believe that this value also spills over to our love of all of God's creatures, just as St. Francis did. Cheryl, you are one, a wonderful example and needed voice in the earth. May this award inspire you to continue in truth. Congratulations. Davia Campbell is the final recipient of the Integrity Award. The committee has been impressed by Davia's involvement on campus and continued reputation to honor God, herself, and others. Davia is a junior biology major invested in leading from a value-centered perspective and appreciation of others. Her reflective approach to attain a life of balance through being her authentic self is commendable. Davia's personal statement contained the following about her leadership evolvement. The support at Newman University has helped me see the beauty in change and growth. Newman assisted in my growth process as a woman, especially in the aspects of communication, community, flexibility, and service. This has also helped me push forward to reach my goals in life. Newman incorporates specific RISE's values into every component of campus life. Because of that, I have learned to incorporate those RISE's values into every area of my life. For example, reverence. I respect the dignity and worth of everyone I encounter. With integrity, I always hold myself to the highest standard, and I make sure to do the right thing even when no one is watching. 
As a servant leader, I am constantly giving and serving into the lives of others. I hold myself to the highest standard of excellence and always give 100% of myself to my passions. I utilize the resources I have access to while also exercising my ability to use my resources to assist those around me. When I think of a Franciscan leader, I think of the RISE's values and acceptance, learning how to incorporate hard work, self-care, self-love, and respect into everything that I do. Davia, your Newman community is proud of you and blessed by your leadership. Congratulations. Bridget McTiernan is the winner of the Service Award. The Service Award is given to a student who serves with humility, compassion, and love, challenges unjust structures and works for social transformation, and embraces service as a lifelong commitment. This year's recipient truly exemplifies service. Bridget is a forerunner for service and has invested numerous hours to uplifting others within the Newman University community and surrounding areas. Within Bridget's personal statement, she expressed, Newman University has changed me by teaching me what it means to live as a true disciple of Jesus. Newman is based on the core Franciscan or Rises values, which are present in my everyday life. They help me lead others and aid me in exhibiting a Franciscan mindset, as well as fostering an environment of reverence, integrity, service, excellence, and stewardship at all times. I live the Rises values by demonstrating them in everything I do, whether it be when I am with a friend, doing service in the Newman community or in the classroom, I always try to lead by example and be the person the others can look up to or come to when advice, a laugh, or a shoulder to cry on is needed. I believe to be a Franciscan leader, a person has to emulate everything St. Francis and Claire of Assisi and Jesus lived. Francis, Claire, and Jesus preached that it is necessary to take care of all creation. And that does not just mean the earth. People need to care for all people, animals, and nature, as we are all brothers and sisters in the eyes of God. Congratulations, Bridget. Thank you for being a servant leader. The Excellence Award is given to a student who performs to the best of their ability the responsibilities entrusted to them, practices cooperation rather than competition in the quest for excellence, and strives for academic achievement. Two students from the nominee pool have been selected as continuously reflecting the value of excellence. The first awardee of the Excellence Award is Amaris J. Manning. Amaris emerged as a leader as soon as she arrived at Newman. She demonstrates a personal expectation to meet an advanced standard in all endeavors she undertakes. Beyond her leadership roles on campus, she has given her knowledge and voice as a burgeoning author and global leader. Amaris disclosed the following insight about her leadership perspective. 
The Newman Rises values shape leadership skills and what it means to be a Franciscan leader. To be a Franciscan leader, a person must step out of their comfort zone to lead others in courage and faith while trusting in God. St. Francis was a faithful leader who believed that all people were born good and he was good to all people. He also taught his disciples that goodness and greatness were possible with God. Without God, I would not have had the courage to take a leap of faith and become a successful published author during the fall semester of my senior year. Without God, I would not have received the job I have at KYW News Radio as a news production assistant during my junior year. Without God, I would not have received the mentors who have guided me in the direction to success. I use my experiences to guide other individuals on the path of success by never losing faith in God, since God has never lost his faith in us. Amaris, congratulations and continue to place God as the center of your life. The second 2021 Excellence Award is presented to Rachel Albertson. Rachel has distinguished herself as an intellectual and service-oriented leader. Rachel continuously exhibits an expectation of humble achievement in her learning and service to others. While managing the responsibilities of softball, student organizations, and honor society involvement, she dedicates her time caring for others at St. Francis Hospital. Rachel is a phenomenal leader. In her leadership statement, she expressed, Newman University has provided a sense of community and belonging to me. I live the RISE's values each day by performing to the best of my ability in the classroom and on the softball field. I also serve the community of Wilmington by providing information, support, and positivity to the individuals who need medical care. I believe that being a Franciscan leader is leading by example and being someone that others can look up to. It is important to live every day in the way that St. Francis taught. I want to be a leader through the social work profession by dedicating my life to serving others in the healthcare system. Rachel, you exemplify the RISE's values and we are proud of you. Congratulations. The Stewardship Award is given to the student who receives gratefully, uses carefully, and shares generously the resources available to them. Cares for creation as a sacred gift from God and promotes Catholic social teaching by working for peace and justice. Elizabeth Carey is the recipient of this year's Stewardship Award. Bess Carey is a caring soul who possesses deep character and conviction. Her faith is paramount to her decision-making and consideration for others. She stewards her gifts and abilities diligently to ensure that she manages time, communication, and activities carefully. In Elizabeth's reflection about how she demonstrates the value of stewardship, Bess wrote, Newman University's core values, RISES, has affected me in many different ways. 
One of Newman's definitions for reverence is that we honor as sacred the worth and dignity of each person. Being a Franciscan leader means being a lifelong learner. St. Francis of Assisi stood for a personal and continuous process of transformation in which, by using the gospel as the basis of his life, a Franciscan leader seeks to find out what he or she could do to help transform and change the current society that they live in. Leaders seek to unify the community by bringing them together. Franciscan leaders seek what is right and better for everyone. I live the Rises values by putting them into practice in service, and in my studies. Elizabeth, the Student Leadership Formation Committee honors you for your diligence and strength. You are a shining star. Congratulations. Sister Marguerite O'Byrne, Vice President of Mission and Ministry, will present our final two awards of the ceremony. The Brueger Humanitarian Award is awarded to a graduating student in loving memory of Sister Rose Annette Brueger, OSF. The awardee embodies a personal character that demonstrates kindness, love, and understanding, both on and off campus, exemplifies respect and appreciation for human dignity by caring for the needs of the marginalized and less fortunate in our society, and demonstrates a care of creation and stewardship for the environment. The 2021 Brueger Humanitarian recipient is awarded to Maya McQueen. The Mary Frances Bachman Award is awarded to a graduating student that embodies the character of Mary Frances Bachman by demonstrating spiritual accomplishments by participating in campus ministry retreats and service opportunities, or through reflection opportunities offered by the Institute for Sports Spirituality and Character Development, or involvement in her church community. Embodying a willingness to accept change and the resilience to persevere through challenges and dedication to campus life. Shows dedication to campus life at the university through regular participation in events and activities sponsored by student engagement and leadership, athletics and recreation, and other university departments, as well as consistent membership in at least one team, student club, or organization. <clears throat> Maya has maintained a high level of excellence in both academics and student conduct. Maya is an exemplar of the RISE's values. Her life has holistically transformed because of the impact of the Newman experience and her openness to lean into the will of God and divine purpose. Maya is a relational leader who has used her gifts, knowledge, and experiences to engage others for the better. While a student, Maya has changed the university and student experience. Her involvement experiences have included wellness educator, residence hall council, student government association, new student orientation, chair of the student women's advisory committee and campus ministry. Maya found a home within the university's counseling center for wellness, where she made an everlasting impact through uplifting of so many students. Her greatest accomplishment was the establishment of a student prayer line with the support of campus ministry. The prayer line allowed students to share encouragement and overcome testimonies. These weekly meetups serve necessary during the isolation period student experiences because of COVID-19. Maya desires to live life that pleases God. Maya shared the following about her leadership journey. During my college experience as a first-generation college student, I have faced significant challenges that I do not believe I would have been able to successfully overcome 
without having attended college and receiving the support that comes from the students, administrators, and faculty at Newman. The support provided to me was so impactful that it helped shape the leader I am today. Through each of my years of being a leader, I have represented each of the RISE's values in the best way that I can. I learned that each year I started to develop a deeper understanding for each of the values. The RISE's values that is most significant to me is the value of integrity. I say integrity because a true leader is first honest, honest with self. I had to face my personal struggles and challenges to expect integrity from others. Because of my integrity before God, I am able to be the leader I am today, spreading love to other students about the importance of spirituality. Everything that has happened during my journey is because of the plan that God has for me and because of His grace. One of my grounding scriptures is Ephesians 2, verses 8 to 9. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not for yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. I owe my entire journey to God, for he gave me a gift to lead, serve, and love those all around me. I am forever blessed that I was able to recognize the start of my purpose with Newman University. Maya, you have made so many at Newman University feel this love of God, and may you feel the smile God has for you. Congratulations. The 2021 Mary Frances Bachman Award is Jonelle Grant. Jonelle has made a significant commitment to service both on campus and within the larger community. While a student at Newman University, Jonelle maintained a high level of excellence in both academics and student conduct. During the award selection process, the committee reflected on the consistent, virtuous character of Janelle. Janelle assumes leadership in and out of the classroom and has been active within the Social Justice Club, the University Honors Program, Freshman Honors Program, Honors Club, Student Nurses Association, New Media, Campus Ministry Bible Study, and the Women's Rugby Club. She has also held two work-study positions as a desk assistant for the Campus Safety Department and as a receptionist for the ITR Help Desk Department while serving others as a resident assistant. Her other leadership involvement includes Presidential Ambassador, Lead New Night Mentor, orientation leader, co-chair of programming for Residence Hall Council, honors program peer mentor, secretary and stage manager of the Newman University Players, and most recently, a student leader for the Newman University Food Pantry Planning Committee. This exhaustive list does not include her activity in service to her home community and church the First African Baptist Church in Sharon Hill. In her statement about leadership, Janelle expressed, Newman University has changed me as I have grown so much as a leader and friend to others. Because Newman is an intimate school, I have had the chance to meet others that have impacted my life for the better. Professionally, I am fortunate to have been inducted into the Chai Zai chapter of the Alpha Phi Honor Society for Social Work and the National Society for Leadership and Success, which will provide numerous opportunities for me as I prepare for graduate school this summer. I have lived the rise as values by taking the time to show reverence and recognize the excellence that everyone around me possesses. To me, a Franciscan leader is a servant leader 
and I believe that I have modeled how important it is to lead by setting an example and showing others that I am willing to serve them. Janelle undoubtedly embodies the character of Saints Francis and Claire of Assisi, as she is so naturally driven to lead with faith and humility and to reverence equally all people she encounters. Today's virtual event leaves me full of hope. I hope you feel the same. We are here together to celebrate and lift up some of Newman's brightest leaders. Each Newman student is called to lead. It's in our RISE's DNA. These students, which we celebrate during this event, represent our entire community. As you heard earlier, we had an unprecedented number of nominations this year. Nominators were made up of faculty and staff from across campus. It's been a year where we've been on Zoom or Teams virtually more than we care to admit. And if we were fortunate enough to be in any in-person experiences, we were sporting our face masks and our hand sanitizer. That alone makes this level of submitted nominations even more remarkable. Our Newman students stepped up this year and our faculty and staff took note. It's been a challenging year and we have emerged stronger as a result. While we look forward to resuming an on-campus and in-person experience soon, we pause today to honor one another and the experiences we have all shared this past year. Let us seek to lift up each other and be there for one another in the spirit of servant leadership so appropriately demonstrated by St. Francis himself. Let us not just feed one another, but let us eat with one another, even if it has to be in a semi-virtual environment until it's safe to do so again in person. Living in relationship with one another as leaders is at the root of servant leadership. It's precisely how our RISE's values come to life as a lived expression for how we serve and how we lead one another. Congratulations to all of our nominees and award recipients. Newman and our world are a better, more hope-filled place because of you. Thank you. It's now my distinct honor to introduce Dr. Domes, president of Newman University. Now in his fourth year on our Holy Hill, Dr. Domes role models servant leadership each day, and our community benefits in so many ways by his leadership. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Domes. Congratulations to all our award recipients this evening. Your inspiration, your leadership, your commitment to Newman University was inspiring. Thank you for all that you do to support each other and support our mission here at Newman. I'm so excited for the year ahead with all those leaders continuing in your roles to help us support Newman in the next academic year. It is so exciting. We're also looking forward to celebrating the seniors. As you embark on your lives, your careers, we know that you will continue to stay connected to Newman University and that your leadership experience here on our campus will continue into your lives ahead. Thank you for all that you've done for Newman. And to all of you, congratulations and God bless you all. Thank you, Dr. Haug and Dr. Domes for encouraging greatness within our students and guests. From the comfort of your homes and residence halls, please give a round of applause for all of our 2020 and 2021 Leadership Award recipients. This is truly a celebration of our students' greatness. Just as our university community rests on the shoulders of the Sisters of St. Francis, there are communities and individuals that need your shoulders of faith, education, and leadership to stand upon. Thank you to the parents, families, friends, faculty, administrators, and staff that have been the wind underneath the wings of our student leaders. You are a great contributor to their success. Thank you to the members of the Student Leadership Formation Committee, Sister Patricia Hutchinson, Megan Camp, Alexandria Thomas, and Hilary Slater. 
The committee would also like to thank our student representatives, Ashley Beasley and Shanice Boyd, for your year of service to the committee. In closing, the Student Leadership Formation Committee appreciates all of you for joining us to honor the nominees and winners of the 2020-2021 Student Leadership Awards. Now, go in peace, go in power, go in hope, and go with blessings. Good night.